Hello and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how I make my own mackerel feathers for when I'm out fishing off the kayak. So I hope you all stick around and enjoy the video. I would much appreciate it if you could hit that like button too and if you're new to the channel then hit that subscription button as well and then you'll never miss out on a future upload. To make these mackerel feathers I'm using size 3 or hooks. They're, uh, I've got quite a few of these so I'm just using them up basically. Um, you can go smaller, you can go bigger but I'd say size 3 or it's probably about the best size for mackerel. Um, you could go smaller, you go really small and just make the beakies. Same, same uh, way of making them. So anyway, I'll get some, I've got some off cuts of uh, holographic paper and foil um, I'm going to use these for the the flash on the mackerel feather but if you don't have any of this you could also uh, use a crisp packet and turn it inside out so the silver sides facing outwards and use that but this is what I'm going to use so I'm going to cut this to length so I'm going to cut it about five centimeters and then I'm going to cut it about a centimetre and a half like that so I've got that fair and then I'm going to fold it in half quite simply just fold it like that and then I'm going to make a cut a diagonal cut this is the folded edge and I'm just going to cut it like that so when you open it out it looks looks like an arrow and that's going to sit on top of that hook like that so it'll probably fall off, I'll leave it on there but it'll probably fall off, yep it did. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to whip um, that holographic tape onto there and I'm using a little bit of uh, an off cut of braid, old braid that I had lying around. You could use um, cotton, I've got some here but it, it was a bit too soft, it kept snapping that when I tried it so I just thought I might as well use braid. You could use mono, a little bit of mono if you want so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread that through the eye of the hook pull it through and then I'm going to create a loop like so in the uh, I don't know if you can see that there I'm looking through my camera lens and trying to see at the same time so it's, it's a little bit difficult but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the long piece not the bit that's gone through the eye of the hook and I'm going to whip it round the hook shank and the holographic tape that's uh, probably go around about between 15 and 20 times oh, it's got the other bit caught up in it Right, we'll call it a do at that. Then keep hold of that that um, tag end, and we're going to pass it through that loop that we made. Like so. Basically, it's a snell knot that we've uh, created. So that's gone through that hoop. I'll just take that out so we can see. And then this end, I'm just going to pull, and it should tighten down onto that holographic tape and onto the hook shank I'm trying not to get a hook in my finger that's nice and tight is that so I shall pop that back in there like so and then with this end I'm just going to pass it back down through the eye of the hook it's a bit frayed I'll wet it and then it'll go through the hole. That's it, that's going through. And I'm just going to make an overhand, overhand knot just to sit, tie that back, tan, just stop it moving really. And that's it. And then I'll cut these tag ends off. Then I'll 
the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that out of the thing. I'm going to cut halfway down its back. Like so. And then I'm going to cut. Just put a little ang angle on there. Like that. So we've got that sort of affair. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply some super glue to the uh, braid. Now if you haven't got super glue, you can use your wife's nail varnish or your own nail varnish. It depends if you've got any or not. And then that'll just seal seal that. So I'm going to put some of this on. This is um this is industrial super glue. It's a two pack uh, super glue. So I have a that's the activator and I've got a hardener that I'm spray on and it, it and that will set that super glow in seconds now that's that's dried now so that's sealed it so you could either paint it or depend leave it the nail varnish color but I'm gonna put some heat shrink uh, tubing on I usually put red or orange on but I've run out of small stuff it's a bit too big is that so I'm going to use I'm going to use this that's going to be ideal for that and I'm just going to cut it to length just to cover that where we whip that braid on so I shall put that on there like so it's a little bit long cut a bit more off And what I'll do with that is I'll pour some boiling water on it just to shrink it down, compress it down on, onto that where we've whipped it on and that'll be ideal. So what I'm going to do is make a few more up and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move on from there. Now that the mackerel feathers are made I'm going to show you how I rig them up for fishing from the kayak. I only use three on a string but if I was fishing from a boat I'd probably have about five or six. The reason why I'm only having three on a string is if you get five or six mackerel flying round and hooks flying round on a kayak, it's hard. It's it's pretty hard work to deal with sometimes. So I'm going to stick to three. Three's enough. So I'll show you how I rig them. What I do is I slide all three on the line the same way. Oops. Like so, I'll just slide them out of the way. So the first one I'll probably come down about 30 centimeters, and I'm going to give it make a twisted boom. So I'm just going to twist the line. So I'm twisting my hands in opposite directions, and my my finger and thumb, and it creates a twist in the line. It helps if your fingers aren't greasy. <laughs> so, like so. And I probably. So that uh, boom is probably about 10 centimeters long. You can tighten it up by pulling it apart like that. And then put it back together and it, it, it tightens that twist up sometimes. Alright. So that's probably about what, 10 centimeters, and then I'm going to create uh, a blood uh, a blood loop in this. Just move that out of the way. So I'm going to grip both my la my line, and I'm going to twist this loop here over itself, probably about between six and eight times, like so. And then I'm going to feed pass that feather through this is a tricky bit through the loop that I've just made oh, come here right so I'm going to hook it over there and I'm going to pull that together I'm going to moisten it and pull it a bit more up that's uh, and that oh come on no no has created 
that standoff. It stands off a bit. So I'm going to do another one. So I'll probably come down about again. 30 centimetres or a bit longer. It's up to you how, how much you space them out. And I'll do another one. Hooking me. Same again. Pass that through. Wet that. So, move down a little bit longer and do number three. My fingers are wet now, I'll just dry them. Once you get it started, it's it'll do it once it starts. Because my fingers are, because I've just wet them. <laughs> Typical. Nah, that's it. Oh, it's a. Nah, it's going now. It's not the best of line now that I'm using. it through, try not to get a hook in me, wet it, that's it, that's number three, so give me a little bit more and I'll cut some off, there they are, and all I do at the top and the bottom of the string is do a double overhanded no. Like so. And so that will attach to my main line. And at the bottom, it'll just have. I'll attach my weight to it. So basically my weight will go through there, like so, just over there, like that, and it's easy to change, change it, just reverse of what, what I've just done then, like so, it's off, so that's all there is to it, that's my way of rigging my mackerel feathers just before I wrap this video up I'm just going to show you a couple more ways of uh, attaching your mackerel feathers to your line if you don't want to use the twisted uh, boom method 
first method I'm going to show you, and I've got some black cord here so it stands out, you might be able to see it a little bit better, is a blood loop knot. And I'm just going to twist, I twist my line over it itself so you get a loop like so. And then I'd nip both sides of the loop at the top so you've got that. And then just twist one over the other five or six times should be enough and then you're left with twists at one side and twists with the other side so then take your finger and thumb and pass it through that loop you just made and pinch the fishing line from underneath and pull it through like so so you'll end up with that we can see that so what you do is wet that and then just cinch it up and that'll give you a blood loop knot standoff knot and the other way I want to show you is just to do an overhand knot in your line like so and that will give you just pull that tight that will give you a standoff knot as well so you could do three or four of them in your line to create your string of mackerel feathers and then all I'd do then to attach my mackerel feather I'll use this is, I'll just get a hook is I'd pass that blood loop knot through through your eye of your hook and then put it over your hook, over your mackerel feather and pull it and that's one way of a that's a way of attaching your mackerel feathers to your line. You could just use hooks, you can do the same method and use hooks and put bait on. Do it that way. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. If, you, uh, if you've got any questions or comments leave them in the box below and I'll get back to you. If you like the video hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and want to see some more hit that uh, subscribe button and then you'll never miss an upload. Well thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.